Hello thriving friends, this is Rochelle, your thriving Dita. So for today's vlog, I'm going to show you how I'm going to make my cash binder. As I have mentioned, um, I'm going to show to you how I will set up my cash binder. By the way, um, I want to shout out to my friend Badget, uh, Badget with Josie for um, allowing me to have this two clear budget binder. Um, I got this from her. This was actually um, her extra um, cash binder. It's just that she's not she's no longer using this one and um i i mentioned to her that i really wanted to start my cash binder so these two binders are from my dearest friend budget with josie and together with this are the 10 clear envelopes for our binder so in order to set up our cash binder let me show you first what are the things that I'm going to use. Firstly is this two clear binders. And I have here um, the decals that I will be using in the cover. Also the decals that I will be using in each of the envelopes. So um, I personally made this one. I have also here my transfer tape. I have the envelopes. I have um, also made a template for the trackers for my emergency fund, for all the other funds that I'm going to put into my cash envelopes. And then my vacation house down payment, 52 weeks challenge, wedding. Those are the things that I really wanted to be um focusing on for my sinking funds and the rest are for the cash um cash envelope trackers so we will be cutting this one so that we can include this in our cash binder and of course my cutter ruler also my puncher and just in case we will need this board, I'll just um, put this aside. So that's it. Um, join with me as I set up my first ever cash binder. So first, um, since I have here my 10 cash envelopes, clear ones, I wanted to show you how to put on all these decals in here and I already um, set it up so I have vacation, self-care, medical, gift, um, this gift is for my family, for my friends or even charity charitable gifts, um, this is for the emergency fund, um, family again, this is for uh, my sinking funds for the wedding and then this one is for the 52 week challenge and then i have the house down payment and lastly the fun time so these are just the initial decals that i have and more likely i will be adding more in the future so for now for my demo um for this video i'll just um, utilize whatever i have and lastly this one is for the cover or the front page of my binder so yeah let's do it so what i have here is the decal for my wedding and then my transfer tape um just to inform you i will only be using one transfer tape for all of this for economical purpose and um disclaimer orange is not my favorite color it's just that i have so many um vinyl that's color orange because of um this season the pumpkin season or the fall season so why don't we just utilize what we have and what we um have more in our um, um closet 
right? So yeah. First is we have to take off this um, transfer tape from the backing. And then let's put it on top of the vinyl decal that we want. Now I know what's the purpose of this board. Okay. So using this G or even um, what you call that, your credit card or IDs, you can use that to scrape that and just remove the air bubbles and let the vinyl decal stick to our um, transfer tip. So once you have done that, you can now easily take off the backing of the vinyl decal. Let's expect that the decal stuck already with our transfer tape. Nice. Nice and smooth. So just take that off. Oops. And yeah. Amazing. That's it. So let's look for the middle portion of our cash envelope let's just measure this one so this is seven more likely our ha our middle um part is here 3.5 3.5 it doesn't have to be perfect though so i'll just need to stick it in here oops is it is it in the model okay let's make this as a reference yep that's it amazing yeah so it's just as easy as that and we'll just um, do that for the rest of our cash envelopes. Nice. Yay, I have it. So for the rest of my cash envelopes, I'm going to um, do it as fast as I can. And let's just watch the time lapse. So that's it for our cash envelopes with the labels on. So now let's move forward to our trackers. So what we have to do is just to cut it first using this cutter. And then later on we will um, punch a hole here so that we can put it in our um cash binder In the use of my cutter we'll just have to cut all these stuff and yeah that's it So here guys, um, we already um, cut all the trackers that we have and um, what I need to do now is to punch a hole on this portion so that we can um, set up our binder. And now it's time for us to set up our trackers with this one. I need to punch a hole here. Just same as with our um, cash envelopes. So now I will be needing a pencil, the cash envelope, and also our puncher. So, I'm so sorry, I only have a single hole puncher. That's why I need to um, do all those patterns. So, it's just easy. I don't have to do a shortcut. Now, 
Now we're ready to set up our cash binder with the truckers and our cash envelopes. So let's just um, arrange this according to its order. So now we can begin. So I chose this one because I find it so nice and classy to have this gold highlighted with a black um, vinyl. Um, I can actually take this off in the future just in case I want to change this one. But as of now, um, I want it to be named after my YouTube channel video. So let's start. Um, as we start, I want to begin um, at the back. So I'm putting this backwards. Uh, I will be needing the tweezers so I can punch the hole or we can just do it directly here. Oops. Just be careful that it, because it's kind of pointy but it's manageable yeah so how's the down payment is there and then the tracker goes first it's up to you guys whatever arrangement you want to make that's how i do it so that's how i want it so up to you if you want to put your trackers first or the envelopes first This is our cash binder. Um, I just noticed that I put all of the locks here in one side. It should be on the other side too for alternate. But what can I do? I already did it. So um, I'll just fix it some other time. So um, here is my ca um, cash binder. So, as I have mentioned, I want the trackers to be on the first page prior to the cash, specific cash envelope assigned to this tracker. So, I have here my 52 weeks challenge, my emergency fund. This is for family. And let me get my pen first. Oh, by the way. I need to write something now. Um, since I'm not going to be starting 52 weeks challenge as of the moment, I will reserve this for 2022. I will be starting my first week on the first week of January. So let's just leave this um, 52 weeks challenge. Now, for my emergency fund, I wanted to um, save for $1,000 for my emergency fund and these um, dollars this dollar coin here is equivalent to ten dollars so later on I will just update you when I will be able to start so for this category I will be right Thing it for my family. Start date again. I didn't started it yet since I'm still setting it up. Next is we have fun time. So it's okay to save, it's okay to um, discipline yourself, but also um, be gracious to yourself and don't be too hard on yourself we know we have a goal but we're still human being and we need time to unwind we need time to relax and we need time for ourselves so i really wanted to put fun time as a priority so the funds that will be going in this cash um cash envelope will be including those dine out um those expenses that i will be 
spending when it comes to um, leisure activities or recreational activities. So next is we have um, a cash envelope for self-care. We work so hard in order to earn out for a living, so we should not also forget our self-care. So here, maybe this fund can be used for my personal needs, um, my vitamins, or whatever it is that is related to self-care. Don't deprive yourself, okay? Next is for gifts. So for gifts, as I have mentioned, this is a um, gift for my family, for my friends, or for whoever that needs to be given um, gifts. I also um, included here is for the charity. Um, when it comes to giving, I just want to emphasize that tithing is already um, part of my budget. And you will see that on, my, on a separate video for my um, monthly budget. So this gift here is just for my family, my friends. And for charity and then we also have here one of the most important thing to be ready as always is my medical expenses although here in Canada um, we have or specifically in Ontario we have our OHIP or our um, health insurance here in Ontario so we don't spend much on um, our healthcare needs but of course um, we don't want to get um, surprised when things went wrong or um, something just came up anytime like you need tooth extraction you need to go to a chiropractic um, specialist um, as of the moment I don't have any medical related insurances so I have to um, save up for that and finally um for my wedding um i'm still thinking of how much would i want to um, put on a budget for my wedding so let's just leave it blank for now um if, if you can see here um i put um a dollar bill and um it's up to you how much would you want your dollar bill to be equivalent to it can be ten dollars um twenty dollars fifty dollars it's up to you just in case this dollar bill will not suffice your specific amount set here you can always add another tracker here so that you can just it's just easy for you to monitor how much you already um saved as of the moment so each line you can total it so that it's easier for you to tally um once you finish the whole tracker again if you need more then you can add another page for the for this specific budget then next is i have for vacation um i am from philippines so i really wanted to go to philippines first before going somewhere else so i want to save up for that and i will be needing um some kind of huge money just for me to do that especially now during COVID because the airfare and the hotel accommodate accommodation during the quarantine requires um, also a budget. So um, we will have to assign a specific amount for vacation. So um, the wedding tracker and the vacation tracker, whatever um, things that you want to save up for, I have just um the same template i just need to like change the title or whatever i want to um put in there so also the house down payment because me and my sister um is planning to um buy our own house in in the future not too soon but if got a loss and we can have it then it's much better so um we honestly need a huge amount of money but um it's better to start in a little um little amount and then those amount can be you know it, it can grow eventually so you all you need is just to start and once you started you just be 
You just need to be consistent, keep going no matter what. You will surely achieve your dreams. So this is my cash binder. Um, let me know if you wanted to have um, the template for all of these trackers that I have. I would be willing to send you the template that I have and then um, just put uh, or just write down your email address on the com comment section below and I will be glad to send to you the template and the instructions on how to um, print and how to set this up. So I hope that this video would add value in to your life. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you on the next videos. Thank you and mabuhay. Oh, by the way, um, I forget to tell you that this cash envelope is perfectly fit for the Canadian dollar bill. So this $5 is from my sister and she is so supportive of what my plans are so she gave me five dollars for this emergency fund to start with thank you so much to my um sister yeah so since i have the five dollar here and i can't color this because this every every dollar i mean dollar coin is equivalent to ten dollars so yeah, that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this video and you have learned something from this content. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share this video. Till next time, bye thriving friends. Again, this is the Thriving Tita Rochelle signing off.